Welcome everyone. So Kenya just went into some rocks and we lost sight of her for a second. But now, if you have a look at that Thompson's gazelle, lift a little bit to the left, a little bit to the left. There she is, right behind the Tommy. The Tommy is completely unaware that she is there. Welcome alive to the Maasai Mara. We have a Thompson's gazelle that's being stalked by a female cheetah. Oh, it spotted her. It spotted her. And luckily for her, it spotted her before she could get very close to it. That is Kakenya, the female cheetah. Oh my goodness, that was so exciting. That... <laughs> very little, little quiet snorts. Those are alarm snorts. That Tommy very, very nearly became a breakfast for Kakenya, the female cheetah. Now she's moving back through the rocks again, up to our right. And uh, there's a lot of food around for her. So she might get a little bit more lucky a little bit later. Isn't she gorgeous? And you can see the Olololo escarpment as the backdrop there. Beautiful. Now, she is going to disappear behind a gardenia, and I'm going to have to move uh, the vehicle to keep up with her. That was very exciting. That It's so quick that we all missed it. She found a baby Tommy in the grass, and in seconds she had caught it. So let's just move around to the front of her. But uh, if they catch something bigger, like an adult Tommy, and they're not chased off it by hyenas or lions or leopard, they will, they will possibly eat once every two to three days. But with small prey like this, uh, every day, baby Tommies and scrub hairs and the like. My goodness, that was so, so quick.